So today I am going to talk about and make a classic cocktail called the daiquiri. Now the daiquiri traces its origins back to about uh, 1898 or so when a mining engineer called uh, Jennings Cox was working in the iron ore mines in uh, Santiago de Cuba, Cuba. And uh, one of these days he was uh, with his colleague and they were exploring mines around the area and they were specifically around a village called Daiquiri. Now it was a hot and dusty and sunny day and when once they were done exploring they went back to uh, Jennings Cox's house and once they got back Jennings Cox uh, figured out that he had no imported whiskey or gin to serve to his guests. Now that was a bit of a problem because the rum that he had in his closet was a local rum and at that point of time rum distillation wasn't as um, technically advanced as it is today or even uh, like a, uh, 50 or 70 years ago. The rum was quite harsh and it couldn't be served straight. So Jennings applied his mind and what he did was he initially took some ice, put it into the bar shaker, he added some granulated sugar, he added some lime juice and he threw in the rum. He shook it till it was absolutely chilled and then he served it to his guest. Now the guest drank it and he was like, wow, this is fantastic, this is brilliant. Uh, what is this cocktail? And Jennings Cox was like, well, you know what? I just made it, it has no name. Maybe it's a rum sour or something because whiskey sours are similar, right? So maybe it's a rum sour. And uh, the guest goes like, you know what? Uh, that's not fair. I think this cocktail is so amazing that it deserves a name of its own. And they just look generally bantered about it and thought about it. You know what? We were just at the village of Daiquiri today, so why not call it the Daiquiri? And hence the cocktails were the cocktail was christened the Daiquiri. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to going to make a Daiquiri. Now most of you guys would have figured out that um, what the ingredients in a Daiquiri are. However, the exact measurements are still not known to you so I'm going, going to go ahead and unveil that part of the bit uh, of the video right now. I'm going to take a bar shaker, take some ice, about uh, four large cubes would be enough. So what you do is you take a large ice cube, you take a bar spoon or a sm small hammer and you sort of crush it in your hand. You put four ice cubes into the shaker. Let's wipe our hands a bit. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to take about 60 ml of rum. I am going to use Bacardi light rum um, because it mixes really well. Uh, the, rum, the recipe calls for rum and also uh, Bacardi originally is a Cuban rum and we will talk about this later. Regardless. I'm going to take about 20 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice. Now the lime juice, I insist, has to be freshly squeezed. None of that pre-bottled stuff because freshly squeezed stuff is what gets the bouquet of the drink out. So you take about 20 ml and put it into the shaker. Once that is done, you take simple sugar syrup. This is a one to one sugar syrup, equal parts sugar and water, uh, you know, dissolved on heat and then cooled down. Uh, easier to dissolve than regular granulated sugar, so I prefer using this in my cocktails. And uh, you take about uh, 30 ml of sugar syrup. One is to one, simple. You put that in. And all your ingredients are inside the shaker. Close the lid and give it a mighty shake. The thing is, the trick with a daiquiri, with a daiquiri is that when your hands cannot take the cold anymore, that means your daiquiri is ready to pour. So you take a cocktail glass, open the shaker lid and straight up pour it in. Be careful about large chunks of glass of uh, ice 
because you can splash about and your classic daiquiri is ready hmm there is 60 ml alcohol or bacardi rum actually which is not one of the most muted of syrups inside this glass and you can hardly tell the amount of alcohol that is in here um a very nice rounded tangy yet rounded flavor because of the sugar syrup uh, it's it's absolutely delicious mm 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 this is a sweet summer day cocktail it's absolutely absolutely brilliant and um uh, this is the cocktail that was preferred by the um uh, i'm sorry preferred by the legendary legendary and i mean super legendary writer ernest hemingway and uh, when he was in cuba he used to go to this bar called el floridita and uh, he was there was his favorite bartender there by the name of constantino and constantino would fix him his daiquiri and and uh, ernest hemingway um uh, you know what perfected the daiquiri over time teaching Const constantino how to make it uh, as per his taste and now this version of the daiquiri is called the hemingway daiquiri as well now uh, ernest hemingway was a was a pretty heavy drinker and and he used to down about what 10 to 12 daiquiris a day he was a legend in terms of uh, his daiquiris and hence el floridita is a huge part, was a huge part of his life uh, and in its own right has it still exists today and has become an icon so there are a lot of tourists who um, head to el floridita and uh, in fact they have got a statue of ernest hemingway at, at the corner of a bar it's a bronze statue and they serve him his new daiquiri every morning so uh, he's like like a god right so the tourists head there and you know coaches after coaches of tourists head into uh, el floridita and they all obviously want to try the daiquiri and um, well you know what how do you you can't make a daiquiri like this and serve it to a 100 tourists at one time so what do you do you use automation and hence blenders came into play so in in today's day and age when you go to el floridita the daiquiri is made um with a blender and uh, havana club rum we will talk about that later regardless so um one of the i mean i personally i personally don't prefer blenders in a bar because that sort of screws with my extremely romantic notion of how quiet and low key bar should be however uh, automation is good and it has lended us the ability to infuse new flavors into our cocktails and uh, some of them being watermelon and strawberry and what not and you know what uh, for example strawberry is not very easy to infuse inside a rum if you leave it overnight great but if you want to make a cocktail instantly um you cannot really put pieces of strawberry and expect it to just release its flavors quickly so people blend it and that's how we've gotten our flavored daiquiris in play today i am going to make a flavored daiquiri however i am not going to make it in a blender i am going to make it a traditional daiquiri style inside a shaker however i am going to try and make it as fruity as possible with my little twist in the game we have taken the shaker we take about 2 to 3 cubes of ice that'll be just fine so again same thing you got to smash those ice cubes into broken bits so that drink chills faster and you drink it the ice doesn't come into as ungainly sort of cubes in your mouth so there you go and here's the last little cube let's do it justice and in it goes so that's our ice you're going to take watermelon cubes uh this is cube watermelon which has been just been cut about about 15 minutes ago uh i'm going to put about 10 small cubes of watermelon inside the shaker now uh, it is important that you don't cube the watermelons 
too large because then they will not lend their flavor too easily into the cocktail you've done that you take your jigger and use just and i mean just 5 ml maybe 5 to 7 ml of watermelon syrup to get that flavor now if your watermelon is extremely flavorful and it's ripe then you don't really need to use the syrup as well but my watermelon is kind of uh, not ripe completely so i have taken the help of the syrup next is the sugar syrup so remember we had put what 30 ml of sugar syrup in our classic daiquiri we have put some watermelon in it it has already got some sweetness we have put some uh, watermelon syrup which has got its own sweetness so i am going to put just about 5 to 7 ml of sugar syrup simple sugar syrup into the cocktail that done we go back to our rum and 60 ml goes into the shaker this let me take the shaker there that's 50 take your lime juice 20 ml standard take care with the lime juice don't put too much it will become overpowering it'll kill the flavor of the daiquiri so you've got your lime juice you've got your rum you've got your sugar syrup you've got your ice the you watermelon cubes let in and Plus, and there you have it, your watermelon daiquiri. And as I alluded to, the last step that we are going to take is take a little wedge of lime, squeeze it on the side, and just. drop it in as garnish a watermelon daiquiri mm what immediately hits you as you drink this cocktail is the notes of watermelon aided by the alcohol it sort of they sort of rise to the top I mean, they have the warmish this warmish thing happening and they rise to your nose and this the secondary exhalation that you have you can you can feel it at the back of your tongue and at the base of your uh, nose start of your ease figure so whatever you want to call it i mean it's absolutely delicious and uh, it's it's kind of overpowering so you can't tell the alcohol or the uh, sugar in it then hmm hmm and after that the alcohol comes into play and you start to feel the sugar on the sides of your tongue um it's brilliant absolutely brilliant no two questions asked i think you must try both these versions at home um on a hot summer day they will blow your mind away cheers